All right, we're going to talk about the electrophilic addition of halogens to alkenes. So there's two, I guess, things to, to think about, new ideas. Uh, one is that we have anti-addition, and I'll explain how that works in the mechanism. And we have this thing called the halonian intermediate, which is a cyclic halide in the alkene, which is this thing right here, which this thing should have a positive charge on it. Okay. So, basically we have diatomic bromine and some polar A product, product solvent. And the alkene attacks one of the bromines as an electrophile because it's not like it has all of the electron density that it wants in the diatomic form, so it's somewhat reactive especially when you have a uh, polar molecule like this we would have some we would expect some dipole in the molecule to exist uh, somehow some way and to show these electrons leave there so we have the alkene attack this thing as though it were an electrophile and in return the electron one of the lone pairs in the bromine will add to the other carbon and depending on how what kind of substitution this thing has will depend on how this goes. Um, you can look at an example of how that would work with this one and see if you could figure that out. Which one's, which one's more electrophilic or which one's more electron rich in the molecule. Anyway, we're going to proceed down to the halonium intermediate, which looks like this. And I'm not really showing the stereochemistry, but you could you could go through and figure out, you know, if, if this were both, if they were if it were up or if it were back, how would this add to the front or to the back? Well, I'm just kind of saying that it's back, as you can see from what my product is. I'm saying that it's back and that the bromine when it comes in, it has to add anti. What that means is it's going to add to the opposite side of the molecule. So if this one's back, if this bromine is that bromine, then this bromine is going to add uh, coming into the board this way on top of the molecule, which would make it stick out like this. And that's really, really key for certain synthesis reactions. You're going to have to understand how the stereochemistry works out and be able to use it.